Hey, what's up, freaks? Steve from Peak Physique and Annuette and Suffering. I'm actually on the road right now traveling. I'm in Las Vegas at Fitness Convention Seminar Workshops for a few days. But of course, I'm not finding an excuse, excuse to miss my freaking workout. Every single day I've been here, I still get up 4.30 or 5 a.m. No matter what's going on, no matter how late I stayed up, no matter what, what kind of shit's going on in Las Vegas, it doesn't matter to me. I don't give a shit. I'm going to find a way to work out, to train, to still eat healthy as healthy as possible when you're on the road and to train as hard as possible on the road i'm going to show you exactly what i bring with me when i come on the road i'm going to flip the camera around so there's my carry-on luggage i can't imagine why i always get stopped at airport security but inside my carry-on luggage i carry this little red peak physique drawstring bag and that's all it freaking takes to stay in great shape not just to maintain but even get in better shape and keep improving and keep losing weight while you're on the road no matter where you're going, no matter what you have available to you, this is all I need is this little drawstring bag. I'm gonna dump it out real quick, and then I'm gonna show you examples of what I'm using with each of it. So I have these monster bands, four different levels of monster bands. Light, medium, heavy, extra heavy. I have a pair, a set of these handled bands right there. And then my pair of sliders. I also have, which I left upstairs it looks like, is a jump rope, flip this around. There's also a, a jump rope, which obviously fits right in there, a tiny light jump rope, and a, a deflated stability ball that I bring the little tiny, a little mini pump with. The pump is like this big, the ball is deflated, and I just put all that stuff in this little tiny drawstring P physique bag. I put it in my carry-on luggage because I can't risk losing that shit. If they lose my luggage, I don't care if they lose all my clothes and, and workout clothes and suits. I'll keep, always keep a set of workout clothes in my, in my carry-on bag and my equipment because that is the top priority to me. That is the most important to me. They can keep my suits and all that other shit. Can, I can just go out and get. This stuff is gonna be hard to find when you're on the road. I wanna have it no matter what. So this is what I put in there, is the set of the monster bands, that's all I need. One set of these, the, the regular bands with the handles, a set of sliders, then also a jump rope, and a stability ball with the pump. So the stability ball is deflated, so it can fit right inside that bag. You squish it right in there, add the little pump, you pump it up when you get to where you're going. It weighs no weight, it's like a pound. Two, this bag is like less than two pounds. I put it right in my carry-on anyway, so it doesn't matter. If I wanted to, I could put it in my check-in bag but I don't wanna risk losing that shit. So I'm gonna hook these up. I'm gonna show you how quick and simple and easy it is to hook this stuff up. I'm just gonna get something to hold this up against to show you this. And then I'm gonna give you examples of what to use. I already did my lifting earlier this morning at 6 a.m. But I'm just gonna kinda of show you. If you guys can still hear me down there, I don't even know, but whatever. So I'm gonna set these up real quick. Again, there's light, light, medium, heavy, extra heavy. The medium I'm gonna keep loose out here, the light and the heavy and the extra heavy, I'm gonna hook up to the pole. There's my light, medium and extra heavy are gonna to go together. Combine, double up. Take this one, also look up the pole, look how quick and easy this is. The sliders, obviously I just dumped the freaking sliders on the floor, that's simple. Jump rope is right there, it's ready. Only other thing I would need to add is the, the only thing that takes a little time is the stability ball. You gotta pump it up by hand with a little tiny mini pump that comes with it. But you can see this took me 30 seconds to set up and I, I don't care what shape you're in or who you are or how strong you think you are. Like, oh, I couldn't really work out that good when I was on vacation because the weights weren't heavy enough. They only went up to like, some, get, some guy was in the gym here yesterday saying, oh, they only went up to 50 pounds. I couldn't get a good enough workout. Motherfucker, you can get a workout with just your body weight, with just these bands. I don't care what shape you're in. I guarantee you, I can bury you. Or you could bury yourself if you have the motivation and, and the reason why you want to do it. And it inside you to go hard enough when you're on vacation, no matter where you are, Las Vegas, Jamaica, doesn't matter where the fuck you are. You, if you want it hard enough and you know how to push yourself and you're motivated and you have the goals that you want to get to, you can get, you can make, you can push yourself hard. Even with zero equipment, you could be in an empty fucking elevator and get the greatest workout of your life and still lose weight and still get in great shape. And I'm gonna show you literally in just a few minutes here, hundreds of exercise you could do with just this setup, with just these three bands, fourth band right there, set of sliders. I don't have the stability ball. I left it upstairs. I ain't go, I'm not going back up to get that shit right now. But then I would add another couple hundred of exercises. Like literally there's unlimited 
amount of stuff you could do with this. And that's not even with weights. And then even if your gym, like this gym here has dumbbells, they go up to 60, 65. Even if it didn't go up to that, even if you only had one single dumbbell or a pair of dumbbells, a 20 pound pair of dumbbells, a 15 pound pair of dumbbells, I don't care. You could turn that into a ridiculous workout. I do it all the time. Even by choice sometimes, even when I'm not limited. You could have a single 20 pound dumbbell, one dumbbell. I've done it before where I put one 20 pound dumbbell in my luggage just to make sure I had it when I knew I wasn't gonna have access to a gym. You could do ridiculous amount of stuff. Strength sets, strength exercise, cardio, core, conditioning, still losing tons of weight no matter what. People always ask me, if, if you could choose one piece of equipment, you had to get someone to lose 100 pounds, you could use one piece of equipment to get them to lose 100 pounds, what would it be? They thought it would be like a treadmill or some big fancy cable crossover, pec deck, bullshit, leg press machine. No way, fuck that. You know what it would be? A hunt to have someone lose 100 pounds? The number one thing I would get is a pair of 20 pound dumbbells. That's it. One pair, 20 pound dumbbells, costs like 50 bucks to get someone in the best shape of their life and get them to lose 100 pounds. That's all it takes. You could do strength, you could do cardio, you could do core, you could do conditioning, because guess what? Other than just that pair of dumbbells, what else do you have? You have your freaking body weight. Your body weight is your is the number one piece of equipment you could ever use to get in shape in your life. And that's thousands and thousands of exercises. We'll go through some today, but mainly I wanna show you with this simple little setup and pieces of equipment here. Simple, like, cause you also wanna warm up, you wanna do a body weight warm up. We're not going through all right now, we're all the stretching for lower body. I'm gonna show you actually an upper body warm up with the bands. We're just gonna fly through it all to show you literally tons. So our rotator cuff, we rotate in with both arms. We rotate out with both arms. We need to, you can stretch up here in upper body. We need to rotate forward with both arms. Rotate back with both arms. We can continue warming up and even turn this into an actual to exercise or whatever with this band right here. I can move this back a little bit because this one stretches out some. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because it's down on the floor, but whatever. You can see it. All you need to do is see it. I'm not doing the whole workout. I'm just showing you guys examples of what you could do here on the road. So you can see I could do a chest press, single arm, non-stop. I would just go right away to the other arm. You could do 10, 15. You need harder, you just get some more distance. I could flip right around and do a back row. I could do a single arm chest fly. Everyone needs to be done. Double arm also. And you could move it a little quicker, but for some reason on the road, I like to do single arm because you get long set, it's just non-stop, heart rate up. You could do a straight arm pullover. You can do your bicep curls. You can do your tricep kickback. Then you can even get core work in. Your trunk twist with a pivot talking about both directions. Trunk twist with a pivot. Also trunk twist with no pivot. You can do it a core anti-rotation, pushing it forward, resisting, holding your abs tight. Both directions, obviously. You can do faster pace, punching with the band, resisted punching with both arms, with that back leg. You can switch your stance and go with your forward leg without a pivot, like a jab, pop it out, pop. Tons and tons. It's, it's unlimited what you could do with these bands. You could combine exercises together. You can go a squat to a row. Squat to a row. Mix them up. You can reverse lunges to a row. It's unlimited. Unlimited what you could do. In, in, in literally, in uh, less than a minute, I just showed you, I don't even know, 15, 20 different things. And it goes nonstop. And that's just with a few of them. And that's just with almost just warming up. This, this one that's on the floor. Again, tons. Tons of shit I could do with it. This simple, simple band. And there's different intensities if it's too light. I could sit here and go with a shoulder press. I could do my squat. I could do a squat to a press. I could switch the grip, go to a bicep curl. I can double up this band. I can do bent over rows. I could do alternating bent over rows. I can do deadlifts. Step back inside with one foot. Step forward with the other foot, reaches way up overhead, and I could do triceps. I could also step through with one foot and do a weighted, a resisted split squat, single leg forward, unlimited. All of those, like the jumps, jumps, or the squats, I can now add a squat jump with the band. I could do a squat jump 
to press. I can do split squat. You need a little more resistance because you're low down. Split squat jump. Again, unlimited, tons, and that was all double arm. Most of those, a lot of those can also be done single arm. You could do alternating on a lot of those. Ridiculous amount of stuff you could do. And I'm just showing you a couple reps, and look, I'm, my heart rate's up a little bit. Start adding a little jumps. You add in non-stop work, you push the pace, and that's just a medium band. Every one of those, depending on the exercise, you could switch out to a lighter one if you needed to, if it's too hard of an exercise, to the heavy band, which is right here, or the extra heavy, which I'm gonna show you a bunch of things with those here in a second. I just need some more space. So we're gonna back up here. I'm, I'm gonna be back a little bit. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me. I'm gonna be attached to this around my waist. So I'll put, I'll put you guys over here, just so you can see different examples of what I could do once I attach that to a pole. Put it. So obviously I can just run forward, resist back. Run forward, resist back. Run backwards. Simple, I could shuffle, side shuffle to the side. I could right away switch to the other side. Look how quick I could transition that. I could just go non-stop, go all to one side. I could alternate sides, whatever. I can bear crawl, bear crawl. Resist back, bear crawl. I can do just a, with, with a good amount of resistance in place without moving forward and back. I could just run in place, high knees. I could run in place, high knee, lateral shuffle with a good amount of tension on there. I can get a good amount of tension. I could do a crawl out with that tension, resist back in, stand up. I can crawl out, come to a push up, back up. I can keep it in place and I can do forward, a frog jump going forward until I run, get to maximum resistance. I can do a gorilla run. And then resist backwards to where I started. Be inside, staggered stance, and do a double arm chest press. I can go a lot of tension, go slower for maximum strength, back up a little bit, and I can go speed. Pop it. Flip it around, same thing, a lot of tension. Do a slow, tight row, a little less tension, pop, pop, pop. And I'm literally showing you two reps of each and my heart rate is getting up there. So imagine taking each one of those things, 30 seconds each, doing them nonstop, back to back, pushing yourself as hard as you can. Your ass will be on the floor, I guarantee it. So don't think, oh, just a couple of bands. I'm in such great shape. I'm a fucking superhero, I'm, in, I'm so awesome. Those bands won't do it for me. Bullshit, because I'm in fairly decent shape, and guess what? I'm able to get a workout out of it, you're able to pump your muscles with it, use the thicker bands. If there are strength exercises you can do with it. I didn't even show you all the other ones on the floor. You put this on your back. The best, best way to do it is to hook your thumbs Put it under your armpits, here. Because if you put it around your hands, top of your hand, and over your shoulders, when you go to the push-up position, it's gonna come up and bam, whack you, look at that. I just smacked myself in the back of the fucking head just to show you guys, just to save you guys. Put it under your armpits, and look, and I could do a push-up with that resistance. I could hold this push-up position and do knee tucks. I could hold this push-up position, mountain climbers with that resistance. I could do plank jacks where my feet are jumping apart and together. I could even bear crawl with this band. Brutal, bear crawl with a, a band is fucking brutal. Unlimited shit you could do. And all of this that I'm showing you, first of all, the main equipment is inside my fucking body. That's the main equipment. That's the number one piece of equipment you need. The extra little accessories, like these little bands and the jump rope which is in here and the stability ball which is in here, go inside this little tiny bag which goes inside my carry-on luggage to make sure I don't lose it. That's all you need. Bam, little band, 
Sliders will get to us in a second. A couple of bands here. So no matter where you go, no matter what the hell's going on, you cannot make any fucking excuse for not finding time to work out. And not just work out. I'm not talking about just maintaining just going out on vacation. You might be limited on time, but guess what? 20 minutes, even 15 minutes, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you have. You have an hour, go for it. And you should. If you're traveling on vacation, don't pretend you're so busy. Don't pretend you have so much to do. That business trip you're doing, you're probably meeting for like an hour and you're hanging out in a fucking bar and drinking and going to eat some steakhouse bullshit the rest of the day. So don't act like you're so damn busy when you're out on the road and away. Because I'm fucking busy all day here in Las Vegas at these seminars and conventions and guess what? I find time to work out. This is my second workout of the day already. Second. In freaking Las Vegas. Call me a loser if you want. You won't call me a loser when you see me on the beach this year. I'll tell you that. That's for damn sure. Anyway, being a loser is what gets me up in the morning. People talking shit to me, calling me a loser, and all that other stuff. That's what fuels me. That's what wakes me up so fucking early in the morning and puts some fire in my damn belly and makes me just attack and fucking dominate in everything I do. Next. You guys are getting me worked up. You guys are getting me pissed off. Pair of sliders. If you guys have any questions, we're going. Ask questions right there, live. Pair of sliders. Simple. Flip this shit around. Set you guys up. Right here. Shit, I gotta flip it around again. Right there. Simple pair of sliders. So much you could do with these. Any surface. Smooth side if you're on a carpet, obviously. Soft side if you're on a hardwood. Just make sure your toes are in the middle of them, not on the end, or else when you bend your toes, they're gonna come off. So I can do a push up to a knee tuck, push up to a knee tuck. I could do mountain climbers. I can do my plank jacks. I could do what is one of my favorite is the alligator drag. Body's totally straight and you have to drag yourself forward and back. One of the best total body core workouts you could do. You could flip them around to the other side and do a sled push where your hands are here, your arms are straight forward and you're literally just pushing, running, pushing them away. Literally like that with your hands right on top, arms extended, strong shoulders, stable, strong core, and just run forward, controlled. Make sure you don't flip and break all your fucking fingers and bust your face open. Oh, back onto here, across the floor. You can't do that alligator drag. It's kind of a knee tuck to a crawl out. Knee tuck, crawl forward. Knee tuck, crawl forward. Making your way across the floor. Standing, you could do Single leg lunge, you can do alternating lunge with both feet on both. Tons, tons. This is just the basics. This is just some of the few simple things just to give you a good example of what you could do. And you can see, again, I'm literally doing a couple of sets and either I'm fucking out of shape or this shit will get you in shape because I, my heart rate is up. Just from showing you a few reps because you know what? You attack with intensity, you're going to get in shape. You're not going to maintain. You're going to get in fucking shape. If you do jumping jacks for 10 minutes straight and you do them like your fucking life depends on it and your life does depend on this shit, you do that shit like everything you do like your life depends on it, everything you do should be done with intensity. So don't think, oh, that was too easy of a workout. That's too easy of an exercise. I need more advanced version. Bull fucking shit. Because I guarantee if I did jumping jacks, boring ass jumping jacks for 10 minutes straight, I wouldn't be able to walk the next day. Because you need to go all out. You need to push yourself. Find, find it inside yourself, why the hell do you want to do this? Why do you want to get in shape? Of course, if you're just cruising and doing some flippity flop, bullshit little jumping jack, you're doing for an hour straight and be like, oh, jumping jacks, I need something more advanced. You go all out, you push the pace. I'm talking about sprint speed. You won't even last 10 minutes of, of jumping jack. Just like running, think about running. You can sit there and cruise and do some bullshit pace where your heart rate's barely elevated, where you could do it in your sleep, or you could push the pace and freaking run and run hard where your fucking heart's ready to beat out of your damn chest. That's the level you need to get to. Not just cruising and cruise control just to think, oh, I'm in such good shape. If you're in a workout, any workout, especially if you're coming to peak physique for a workout, but if you're doing a workout and you have some serious results or serious goals and you want some serious results, there's never a time after any single set that you shouldn't be tired. If you're not tired after a set, I don't give a shit what the exercise is. If you're not tired after a set, you do not push hard enough. That's what it's telling me. I don't care if it's fucking jumping jacks for 15 seconds. If you're not tired after the exercise, you did not push yourself hard enough to your potential and to your limits. Push yourself to the fucking edge. Fall over the edge and then claw and climb yourself back up. Now, I didn't say you should be quitting every set. Tired doesn't mean quitting. That's when the mental 
toughness and discipline and conditioning comes in is when you push yourself and you fucking bury yourself till you're ready to pass out and die on every single second of every single fucking set. But then you don't quit and you don't stop. You keep going and grinding. Obviously, everyone go at their own pace and do what you can. But saying that you should be tired doesn't mean you should quit. Doesn't mean oh, I'm gonna stop because I'm tired. It means you're gonna fucking grind through, you're gonna make shit happen, and you're not gonna quit. So, quick recap we had a light, thin band we used for warm up, and you can use for some strength exercises, some core stuff. A, a heavy and an extra heavy linked together for all that cardio stuff. We do super high intensity shit there, like, doesn't get any better than that. You do not need any big fancy gym. A medium band just on the floor for the loose stuff, for the push up position stuff, and for the standing exercises. Also, plyometrics, like jump squats, jump lunges. Split, split, squat, split, jump squats, a pair of sliders, and the other ones we didn't, I didn't bring down here was the jump rope. Obviously, the jump rope is so light, and an, an, an inflated, a deflated stability ball with that tiny, you need to get the mini pump so it doesn't take up too much space. You put all that shit into a tiny little bag, just like that. Put it in your carry-on bag. Not, don't even check that shit in, because you check it in, I guarantee your luggage is going to get fucking lost. Or someone's going to... Whatever, steal that shit. I put it in my carry-on bag. I don't give a shit. That is my top priority. I'll put that in my carry-on bag before I put my computer in there because that's my top priority. I know when I get to my destination, I'm getting to where I'm going to go. I need to make sure I have that shit with me. I need to make sure that I'm going to not... I'm not go, when, I, when I go away on these trips like this, I'm in Las Vegas. I'm not, my mindset is not thinking, all right, I'm going to do just enough just to stay active and you know, maintain while I'm there. Fuck that. I'm coming here to get some results. I'm coming here to lose some damn weight. You could be on vacation, business trip. I don't give a shit. I'm at a workshop seminar. I'm not coming here to maintain. I'm coming here to take the fuck over is what I'm coming to do. I am here to take over. Not just to participate and, and, and go in moderation and, you know, this slow, easy little vacation bullshit pace. Because vacations are the devil. Vacations are a weakness. You, you go into a vacation mode ever, you're going to fucking fail. You're going to come back 15 pounds heavier. It's going to take you two weeks to get back into the flow. You're going to gain another fucking five pounds. You need to go away. I don't care where you are. I don't care what the situation is, what equipment you have available to you. You need to go there with the mindset. I'm going to fucking dominate. I'm going to fucking take over. I'm going to lose weight on this vacation. Fuck maintaining or, oh, I only gained three or four pounds. Fuck that. Go there with the mentality. You're going to fucking dominate. You're going to lose weight. And you're going to continue crushing it and going towards your goals. All right, I'm going to go finish off with some of these toys and play a little bit more. Even though I already lifted this morning, I'm going to do a little more today. If you have any questions, you can put them down there in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. No excuses.